This is Oud for Greatness by Initial. Loved a lot, talked about a lot, costs a lot. Then there's this, an evil doppelganger, the twin brother no one knows about. Oud for Glory by Latafa. How good is it? Let's find out. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. Today let's talk about Latafa's Oud for Glory. Now I know that this isn't available anywhere outside the UAE at the moment, not easily at least. And I thought I'll do this video a little later when it's available everywhere, but I get so many questions on my comments, on my Instagram, even on Facebook. People have added me only because they want to know where this one is available. So I thought, you know, why not just talk about it? And when it's actually available, you can go out, make your decision and buy it. Here's what I'll do. I'll tell you about the similarities with Oud for Greatness and I'll tell you what's different about it as well. Then I'll leave it to you to make the decision. Uh, I'd say go out and buy it. But you know what? Watch the video, make your mind up. And if you think it's worth it, go out and buy this one. Now, I could never buy a full bottle of the original. Although I love the scent and I understand the hype and love it's getting, I just cannot see myself spending over a thousand dirhams. That's uh, $350 or up to 20,000 rupees for a full bottle of Oud for Greatness. Then this walks into my life and what a find. Let's start with the similarities. Now, I'm not a fan of copying bottles but you have to appreciate this one. Presentation is top notch and they've done all they can to make it look like Oud for greatness at this price. Now let's move on to the scent. I'll be honest, I haven't tried any Oud for greatness clones, but I doubt that anyone can come this close at this price point. I know about one which is Dua's Shadow Play and it's got good reviews. But as you know, it's a 30ml bottle and they price their fragrances at around $50 to $60. This is a 100ml bottle and even if it goes at $50 to $60, I'd say you should pick this one up. This, this could quite easily be Latafa's best seller. Now the number one question I get is how similar it is to the original. As you probably already know, I don't really put a percentage on how close one fragrance is to the other. Because like I said before, how is 90% different from 92% and how is 92% different from 95%? But I'll tell you a little incident and this is all the test you need. I wore this and I went to Mall of the Emirates to Harvey Nichols that actually has a little kiosk for Inisha perfumes. And I was checking a couple of them, really hoping that she notices what I'm wearing and she did. Uh, she asked me if I was already wearing uh, Oud for Glory, uh, sorry, Oud for Greatness. And I said, I'm not. I actually carried this bottle and I showed this to her and she was so surprised. They sprayed it. She called her colleague, um, sprayed it on his hand and they were just blown away. They were actually pretty hesitant at first to, you know, talk about this. Um, they, they kept asking me whether I'm a mystery shopper, whether I work for any show and whether, um, you know, I've been sent by an Isho to sort of test them out. Uh, they did not trust me, but when they saw my channel uh, and they saw that I've already featured this and I spoke about it, they opened up a little. She actually called her colleague, sprayed this on his hand and he was equally surprised. They don't do blotter papers anymore because you're not allowed to. So they either spray it on your hand or they have like tissue papers hiding and they sprayed on the tissue paper, but he sprayed this on his hand and he fell in love. He also sprayed the original on the other hand and he started um, sort of comparing them and he's like, no, no, there's a little difference. You know, there's, this is a little sweeter. And I mean, he was trying hard to find the differences. I mean, it's his job. I understand that now to fool someone who day in, day out works at an initial kiosk and is convincing people to spend about a thousand dirhams, $350 to fool them into believing that you're actually wearing something that's 20 times its price. That is saying something about this scent. Now both Oud for Glory and Oud for Greatness 
opens up to that medicinal rubbery feel that you also get in Baccarat Rouge 540. But in these two, it's a little darker and I think it's that oud and patchouli mix. I'll be honest, the opening, not just in this one, even in the original, is a bit polarizing. Uh, you either will like it or you'll completely hate it. I love it because I sort of understand it and it sort of builds up to what's coming next. I have them side by side here. I have Oud for Glory on this side and I have Oud for Greatness on my right hand. Uh, they've dried down a bit now because this was when I was at the mall. Uh, so it's been I think three or four hours now. And at this stage, they are still pretty similar. Both of them have sort of lost that richness that you get in the start and if I can say this, have slightly flattened out. The smokiness that you get in the first hour has been lost on both of them. And the spice that you get in the start has sort of slowly mellowed down. Now let's move to the differences. The first major difference of course is the price. I mentioned it earlier, you can get the Latafa at a fraction of the price of the original. As far as the scent go, here are the differences I noticed. In the opening, the original felt a lot more concentrated, richer, more dense, and it also popped out a lot more. It was also a lot sweeter, and it had that burnt sugar feel like you get in Baccarat Rouge, which was a lot more prominent compared to Oud for Glory. The saffron as well is much better in the original and um, lasted longer in the scent duration. In fact, I still get a lot of saffron from the original, whereas it dies a little in uh, Oud for Glory. The same thing happens with the nutmeg. The nutmeg actually gives the spice to both this one and the original as well, that mellow sort of spiciness. It is a little bit more noticeable in the original. In the original, I also notice lavender. I may be wrong, but I get this lavender feeling that's there for the first 10 or 15 minutes and it then disappears. But with Oud for Glory, I don't see any lavender in this. Maybe there is lavender, but uh, my nose doesn't catch it. I also think that the original has like an oak moss sort of note. Um, I may be wrong again. I get that dry oak moss feeling which uh, Badi Al Oud or Oud for Glory lacks as well. Now, the major difference comes from how the two use patchouli. I am a sucker for patchouli. I probably said it in my other videos as well. So I caught onto it like this. The Latafa seems to hold on to that patchouli a lot more than the original. And it seems like the Latafa has built everything around that patchouli. Oud for Greatness, on the other hand, uses patchouli in the background. Like imagine a Bollywood song with the patchouli in the background as a background dancer, whereas the main stars of the show are the nutmeg, the saffron and the oud. Let me put this into context. Imagine if uh, Joe Malone had to create both the fragrances. They would name the initial nutmeg and oud and they would name the latafa oud and patchouli. I hope that makes sense. The patchouli used in the original to my nose is a lot earthier and uh, yet they've managed to make it a little damp. It gives it that wet underground cave or that you know cold dark basement feel that you get from patchouli. That's how it is in Oud for Greatness. On the other hand, the patchouli in this one is a lot mintier, at least on my skin. That makes this one a lot airier and lighter. What I'm trying to say is that this one is less dense. It's actually that different take on patchouli, that mintiness that allows this to be a little more versatile compared to the original. Now let's talk about the performance. The original is a monster. It will last you 16 to 18 hours. I've tried it. And one thing is that you don't really go nose blind to it. So for the 16 to 18 hours that you're that it's on your skin, you actually keep getting whiffs of it. You will notice it, unlike uh, other fragrances of the same nature. Plus, the sillage is enormous. So you go very easy. Two or three sprays are enough with that one. Coming to this one, do not expect the same sort of beast mode uh, performance. 
but this one also lasts a good eight hours without any problem and it's also got a moderate to heavy sillage i'd suggest don't over spray this one as well because it's not the kind of scent that does really well with that for me personally i actually went nose blind with this one pretty soon uh, i thought that it's not performing on me i couldn't detect it i kept trying to sniff myself uh, but when i came back home at the end of the day my wife actually detected it she said you know what i'm still smelling good uh, in fact even towards the end of the day a colleague of mine uh, commented on it it is the kind of scent that you probably will go nose blind to very soon uh, so be easy on the trigger i'm still getting to know it and like most latafas and armafs you know the scent itself changes over time how you perceive it uh, how it performs on your skin but with the little bit that i've gotten to know it i absolutely adore it all right let's quickly run through the points we discussed first the price the initial will cost you a kidney an arm and a leg and you'll still be looking for loose change to pay for it this on the other hand will cost you twice or thrice as much as other latafas which is completely worth it now for the scent the original is sweeter and a little denser and the latafa is a little airier and lighter the initial of course has more depth and richness and the latafa lacks that the initio uses the patchouli in the background whereas the latafa uses the patchouli as like the center point that they've built everything around in terms of versatility the patchouli used in initio is much damper and darker making it fit for colder climates whereas the patchouli used in the latafa is slightly cooler and mintier which makes it slightly more versatile in the original coming to the longevity nothing beats the original it goes for 14 16 18 hours on your skin and it lasts for days on your clothes whereas with the latafa it still gives you a good 8 hours without any problem when it comes to longevity now when it comes to the siage the original is a monster you spray it twice or thrice and you're good to go for the entire day and even probably the second day this one on the other hand is still noticeable it's moderate to i'd say slightly high but it's nowhere close to the original i think that's about it i've covered everything i could as much as i understand the scent i hope that's given you a good idea of what kind of scent this is i am in love with it at the moment i recently did a top 10 budget middle eastern fragrance list and i put this one on number 1 uh, i really like i'm being very honest i like this scent a lot and not just me people who've bought this scent who are in the uae or even in pakistan and bangladesh who have access to this scent they've tried it and they've messaged me and said thank you so much for finding this one they have enjoyed it don't go blind buying this one if you have oud for greatness and you've tried it or if you have the chance to try that one and if you like that scent then you're going to love this one don't say nixon said this is an amazing scent blind buy it and then regret it if you like oud for greatness if you like bakarat rouge which is a little darker with a little more oud more patchouli then this should be in your collection for sure i think i'm probably the first one to talk about this and uh, i just hope that it's available so that everyone else can enjoy it as well that's about the end of the video guys don't forget to like share comment and also if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button until next time keep smelling amazing